Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. I'm Sonal Gupta and this channel is about increasing your understanding of physics. To clear your concepts, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for latest updated videos. In this video session, you are going to understand a couple of problems based on electron transitions. So our question says that one of the wavelengths in the absorption spectrum of helium occurs at 588 nanometers. So one wavelength which is absorbed is 588 nanometers and they say show that the energy of a photon of this wavelength 588 nanometer is 3.38 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. We know that how do we find the energy of a photon which is emitted or absorbed which is equal to the energy gap. So that energy gap is equal to h c by lambda that's the famous wave equation we have used so e is equal to h c by lambda all you have to do is plug in the values now h is the famous wave equation we have here times 10 to the power negative 34 you will not be given this in the question you'll find it in your data booklet times c the velocity of light that also you will find in your data booklet 3 into 10 to the power 8 upon lambda the wavelength that has been absorbed is given to us 588 nanometers so 588 times 10 to the power minus 9 meters and solving this we get an energy equal to 3.38 times 10 to the power negative 19 joules so we have proved the first part the second part of the question says mark the corresponding transition on this energy level diagram. So first we need to figure out that this energy gap which we got is equivalent to because the corresponding photon that has been emitted is having of energy of 3.38 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules. So how are we going to get this much value of energy. If you look at it carefully, when an electron jumps from this n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 4, check out how much is the gap. It is going to be minus 2.42, the final energy, minus minus 5.80, the initial. And this you will figure out is equal to 3.38 and it's written here on a side that the order of this energy is 10 raised to the power minus 19. So this means this is equal to 3.38 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules. So the transition that has happened is from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 4 and you can mark this arrow which indicates a transition by absorption of the corresponding photon. So that's all in this video session. In the next video, you are going to learn about the nuclear structure. Thank you.